Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for the weekend of Friday, June 7th through Sunday, June 9th. Yes, I think that's right. Let's see, yeah, today's the 7th and then we go to, hold on guys. <laughs> yes, that's right, okay. so. Weekend edition, yeah? Woohoo! Friday, June 7th to Sunday, June 9th. Welcome to the weekend, guys. So let's see if we can get some uh, guidance or some just whatever spirit wants to talk with us about today. Um, keep in mind that energies are fluid. Time is an illusion. So just because this is dated for this specific weekend doesn't mean it has to resonate for this weekend. Um, but if it does, that's fantastic. If you are drawn to it at any other time and it resonates with you, then that is just the right message for you at that time. Yeah. Also keep in mind that this is not sign, love or career or any specific or anything like that. This is literally just whatever spirit wants to discuss with us for the weekend or at this moment. Okay, so let's just get straight, straight to it, guys. Okay, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the weekend of Friday, June 7th through Sunday, June 9th. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm gonna give this three shuffles and then we will see what we've got. Weekend edition. One more shuffle here. For the weekend. Alrighty, kids. Friday, June 7th through Sunday, June 9th. Best messages, please. Spirit, page of swords, okay? Oof. Wow. Okay. Ooh, wow, there's a lot here, you guys. There's a lot here. All right, overall energy. We have the Emperor. Okay. Um, an authoritative figure I'm hearing. Someone that's in control. In control of their lives, in control of their, their master of their own domain, that kind of energy. There is some sort of conflict. Five of Swords, okay. Um, and it's, it's a lose-lose situation. It's a very destructive energy, the Five of Swords. Um, now there could be some pettiness here because the first card that came out, we have the Page of Swords. That could be some pretty petty energy. It could also be that someone is either watching, keeping keeping an eye out. Um, there may be there may be a circumstance in which someone is looking for a reason to argue or fight or something like that. We do have the Moon Child here. Um, it's in reverse though. The Chariot and the Page of Wands, okay. Six of Swords, okay. Um, there's some sort of forward movement. I, I'm still, with this Six of Swords energy, this came out, um, I wanna say, did it come out yesterday, maybe two days ago? And there is an energy of someone wanting to move or feeling like someone wanted to move, or, there is a, or, or someone getting ready to move or something like that. And that's kind of what I'm feeling like here. That's the vibe, a vibe I'm getting here from that again, especially with the Page of Wands and the Chariot. Okay, so some you may be see, but but if it's not like physically moving from your apartment or your home, it's um, seeking a way to remove yourself from a situation, renew, start over, potentially. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Ooh, 
Nine of Cups. Two of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Justice, the Magician, King of Swords, High Priestess, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Ace of Wands, Five of Cups. Woo! That's quite a lot. All right. So what's going on here? There could be two different individuals, the King of Swords and then the Queen of Pentacles. It could be one masculine, one feminine, uh, one man, one woman however that resonates with you. It could also be, it could be the same person, but what I'm hearing here is that it is in fact two different people. Um, mm -hmm. Oh boy. Okay. Um, it, I am hearing that it is two different people. And what I'm getting here is that the King of Swords is here with the High Priestess. So this King of Swords energy... I feel like it's definitely keeping secrets. This King of Swords could also be this Emperor here. There's an authoritative figure or someone that's in control or in power here. But I'm hearing they're not being too honest about something. They're keeping something hidden. And ultimately, Ultimately, my attention is being drawn here, Ace of Wands, Five of Cups. Ultimately, that is creating a situation in which um, there's some sort of loss, um, regret, remorse, shame, or guilt. Um, and yet, this Five of Cups energy here is inspiring some sort of new action. It's inspiring. It's like it's a catalytic energy. Okay, so it's like you you go through some sort of situation that leaves you with pain, remorse, regret, just not, ill will or something, and that's inspiring you to move in a new direction. Okay, and that's also what I'm picking up here with the Six of Swords, Page of Wands, and the Chariot. Right now, with this Queen of Pentacles. Um, First of all, oh, I'm sorry. First of all, the King of Swords energy. Um, again, this does feel like an authoritative figure, or at least someone who maybe thinks they have an authority, or should have authority, or somehow um, very logical, um, devout. Like there's no emotion involved in the situation from this person's point of view, but they just feel. They, it doesn't feel like it's a good energy. It doesn't feel like it's you know really all that honest and diplomatic or anything like that. I like that. Now, it hasn't come out in the reverse, but yet something about this King of Swords, I think it, it could be the fact that it's coupled with the High Priestess here. Like, there are some secrets involved. And again, this King of Swords feels like it's uh, uh, someone of a higher authority, like this Emperor energy here, because of this High Priestess energy that it's coupled with. It's like... It's like someone's using their authority to keep secrets or to try and manipulate the situation, the magician. Now, the Queen of Pentacles. Um, this feels like a motherly energy, um, a very grounded, down to earth, well manifested, someone who, you know, would t like the, uh, a caregiver, someone that would care take care of the home, this does feel like a homemaker type energy. But she's super burdened here. And I do feel like the King of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles are, in fact, in opposition with each other. It could be whatever this situation is, that's whatever this situation involves in which the King of Swords here is keeping some sort of secret, not truly being honest about everything, or something like that. It's really burdening this Queen of Pentacles here. Uh, this Queen of Pentacles just feels like it's, she's trying to keep it together in terms of everything that's happening. Okay. Yeah, but in terms of all of that, though, it really does feel like... There is going to be some new start or some sort of new beginning. You have the Nine of Cups with the Two of Swords here. But then you have the Page of Pentacles, Justice, and the Magician. So I do feel like there's going to be a way to manifest some sort of justice, a new beginning, and some 
wish fulfillment. But the Two of Swords being here, yes, is an, is an indecisive energy. However, it feels like whatever you're indecisive about, it has everything to do with the burdens here. That's Ten of Wands energy, okay? You also may be stuck and not, and well, maybe not stuck, but in this moment, you might be in a situation in which you can't move the burdens. You can't move because of the burdens. Um, there's, you, you might be at a stalemate right now. Mm hmm Yeah, this Two of Swords energy doesn't really feel like indecisiveness. Like, it could be. It could be. Um, but it feels more like a stalemate. Like, there is there is no ability to make a decision or to make a choice. There are no moves to make right now. And you might just be stuck hanging in a lurch somehow. But ultimately, it's going to be okay. It's going to work out. Somebody's on the lookout here. Five of Swords, Page of Swords. It could be both sides of the situation, to be quite honest, for their own reasons. I don't know what's going on here, but there's some sort of negative energy, bad blood, five of swords, one-upmanship, backstabbing, um, just destructive, you know, and it, no one would really win in that situation. <laughs> Straight up and down, no one wins, you know. Like, you may end up coming out on top, but, like, what does it cost you? You know, that's it's that kind of situation. Like, someone may <clears throat> get the upper hand or someone, uh, I don't know, a judgment may fall in, in your favor or the other person's favor. But even in that case, you know, was it worth the cost? What it, was it worth what you lost? Was it worth what, uh, you know, the, the, I don't know, the relationship between the two of you or or um, a reputation or something like, like that's the kind of five, that's the kind of energy the five of swords is, right? Okay. Now, the moon child. The moon child is about cycles, understanding those cycles. What have you learned from those cycles? In the, with the moon child coming out in reverse here, I do feel like this is a situation in which a cycle is coming to an end, which makes a lot of sense because it looks like somebody is, will, is looking to, is willing to, or is starting to gain some sort of energy towards moving in some way, leaving some sort of situation behind, leaving some sort of drama behind. Interesting here. Well, I was going to say an interesting aspect with up here, you have the Five of Swords with the Page of Swords. And I kind of saw the Page of Swords as like the Ace of Swords energy for a second. And I was going to say, well, five plus one equals six. And then here you go. You have the Six of Swords. I mean, but that's that's kind of the message that's coming through here there now you may be on the lookout here but you that doesn't mean that you're the aggressor it doesn't mean that you're looking for a reason to be upset or, or angry or fight but there could be some sort of drama going on around you five of swords and you're keeping your eyes peeled it is the page of swords is kind of giving me an ace of swords energy you now now if this is both sides of the equation one side of the equation could be looking for a reason to to start a fight or pick a fight or continue some sort of battle the other side may be looking for every way to defend themselves in the battle that's entirely possible and if that's you then i am seeing five of swords page of swords page of swords being a the ace of swords here five plus one equals six six of swords looking for a way to resolve the situation or get away from the situation release some sort of drama some sort of conflict or whatnot you do have the ace of wands here like i was saying the ace of wands and the five of cups whatever this situation is it's inspiring some sort of new direction and that kind of falls right in line with this moon child being in reverse there's some sort of energy of 
the moon or, or I'm sorry, a, some sort of energies of a cycle having come to an end, having closed out. And this does feel like it has a lesson involved with it. That's what basically that's what the moon child card represents. It's whatever, what have you learned in the cycles that you've been through? Let me get into the book for that real quick. Just in case, just to make sure I'm not missing at like a key point here. This deck, this is the um, Moonchild Tarot. It's available um, here. See that Moonchild Tarot? It's available on their specific website. I don't, I, I don't think this is available on Amazon yet. I mean, I know for a fact it wasn't at one point. I don't know if it's available now, but just just Google Moonchild Tarot and you'll find it. Um, but key words here are magic, ritual, connection, abundance, manifestation. Uh, key phrase, how can I connect with the wisdom of the moon? What moon phase am I currently in at this time? Are there energies that need to be released? Is it time to start a new project? What is internally or externally inhibiting you from rising, growing, or healing? How are you delaying your own productivity? And, uh, another key, uh, key question, where would you like to journey with her next? Her being the moon. When this card shows up, it asks you to consider how you can cultivate your own sacred relationship with the moon. This luminous beacon functions as a great celestial doorway into new spaces and opportunities within and around you, helping you to see beyond limitations, the limitations of your lived reality. Okay, so this really is talking about um, um, this really is talking about a cycle coming to an end. So either the cycle has come to an end here, um, and so now someone is looking to move elsewhere or is looking to, and even, it doesn't have to be physically. This doesn't mean that you're, like, like I said, you're, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're moving from your home or whatnot, but energetically, mentally, moving to a new space, possibly a calmer space, Six of Swords, or calmer waters, yes? Um, or it could be that a cycle is about to come to an end. The moon child being in reverse could mean maybe there's also a blockage to this cycle coming to an end, but also that could be why I'm saying there that something is about to come to completion, potentially, for you, if it hasn't already been completed, right? <laughs> Like this card being in reverse to me is saying that there's some sort of wrap up coming through in order to end a cycle, in order for you to move on to the next phase. Okay, page of wands, the chariot. Confident, moving on confidently with your head held high. Like, like I said earlier, when we were over here with this nine of cups, justice and the magician, there is some sort of satisfaction, um, some sort of maybe a peaceful resolution or a resolution to the situation that's in which, you know, I do feel like someone's going to be able to keep moving forward with their head held high with integrity. That could very well be this, this Queen of Pentacles energy here. Because it doesn't necessarily feel like the King of Swords is being all that integrous. Now, in terms of the High Priestess for this King of Swords, yes, this King of Swords could be keeping secrets, but the High Priestess is here. This is not the Seven of Swords. This is the High Priestess. So there's a higher lesson here that the Queen of Pentacles may be picking up on or maybe someone else may be picking up on and learning a deeper lesson, Moonchild, the High Priestess. Because kind of what I'm seeing with the High Priestess is like she's saying, yes, this person is not being too honest and your intuition is mostly on, most likely on point, but what is there to learn? What is there for you to learn here through this? I'm not going to reveal anything until the time is right, but what is there to learn from this? So it may, <laughs> okay, it may seem like 
it may seem like things are in this King of Swords favor and that may be unfair, but at the same time, justice is about to be served regardless. And there may be, like I was saying, there's a deeper lesson in why it may look like it's in this person, this individual's favor here. This does feel kind of like an ego battle. I'm not going to lie. Um, because you do have the emperor here as the overall energy. And if this is a situation between two different people, two different parties, or like a groups, like a group of people, um, the collective energy within is one of people trying to hold their space, um, stay in control of their own lives, not really be taken advantage of, not trying to be taken advantage of, but that's creating some sort of egoic friction here. Okay. Okay. So, we're gonna get, we're gonna get into the clarifiers now. Feels about right. <laughs> Okay, so how am I gonna break this down? Oof, that's a really good question. That's a really good question. Okay, um, <laughs> I may need to use a number of decks for this because there's a lot here. But we're gonna start, we're gonna start with the King of Swords, High Priestess, and the Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, okay? All right, let's get some shuffles here. Just some clarity for this situation, please, spirit. Woo wee, this is gonna, it's definitely gonna be a longer, <laughs> a longer one today. Death just caught my attention. So there's definitely a transformation here. Now the question is, yeah, it's still underneath the deck. The question is, how is this transformation going to work in your favor? Is it going to work in your favor? You absolutely have control over that. The emperor, okay? Even if you can't control, obviously you can't control the actions of others, but you can do your best to keep in control of yourself as you go through this transformation. Okay, that's all up to you. But let's talk about these two individuals right here. I want to see what's the energy between the two of them. What is this King of Swords hiding? Why is this Queen of Pentacles feeling so burdened? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, Five of Cups. Yeah, Seven of Cups, okay. Overall, <laughs> King of Pentacles, interesting. That's very interesting. What came out over here for the King of Swords? The Tower, you see? Ooh, 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 goodness gracious. Okay, um, it's very interesting. You have the Queen of Pentacles here, right? The King of Pentacles, or I'm sorry, the Queen of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands. The King of Pentacles is over here underneath the deck now. Now we're looking at the energies between the two of them. So there is, there is some sort of ego battle here in terms of trying to keep control of, stay the master of your domain, hold yourself down to um, maybe even defend yourself. I'm seeing the King of Pentacles as a defensive energy for both sides of the equation, but for the Queen of Pentacles energy here, it feels better. It feels like there's more to be defensive about here. You have the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Seven of Cups, all right? So there is some sort of... Um, upsetting energy here for this Queen of Pentacles. And there may be a lot of smoke and mirrors around it. 
it, like it could be a situation in which like say if you're the queen of pentacles here this kind of feels like i know something's not right here but i can't put it i can't put my finger on it there's some sort of smoke and mirrors here and the page of pentacles is trying to, is kind of giving me an energy of trying to fix the situation heal the situation handle the situation and yet there's a bunch of smoke and mirrors so it's like making that difficult okay and then enter the King of Pentacles energy, which is kind of like the protector, the defender of that Queen of Pentacles. So we do have some sort of ego battle here, but then you get to the King of Swords energy, and now you have the Tower. So, but then they're also, but then you see this King of Swords also has this, has this King of Pentacles energy, but on this side, it feels like materialism, control, authority, power, but it doesn't seem to be working too well in their favor. They've got the tower with the high priestess. So there are some things that you're not aware of or someone is not aware of. It's a lesson for you, but it's also obviously a lesson for them, the tower or him or her, whoever the King of Swords is representing. It doesn't have to be a man. It can be a woman, but we're talking about masculine fixed energy in this situation, yes? Wow, okay, so next, we're going to jump over here to the Five of Swords, the Page of Swords. And then, actually, you know what? Five of Swords, Page of Swords, and I'm going to put the Moon Child with that. Clarification, please, Spirit. What is this conflict? Two of Wands. Eight of Wands. That's enough. Okay. Someone's trying to make a decision here. Five of Pentacles. Yeah. Rejection. Isolation. Feeling lost. Left out in the cold. Yep. With the Eight of Swords. Oof. Ooh. There is some sort of binding energy here. Someone feels bound. Someone feels trapped. And it looks like they're they're actively trying to get out of the situation. Wow, the Five of Pentacles. Um, someone feels put out. Someone feels left out in the cold. Someone feels rejected. Um, and it's creating a rift. There needs to be there needs to be communication or there is communication but maybe there needs to be more but there's a binding situation here in which someone is actively trying to make their way out of uh it, the, this also kind of feels like an energy of someone may have like walked themselves into a trap or got themselves all tied up and i don't know lies or something I don't, I don't know but it does kind of feel like that for someone here there's an energy of having you know walked yourself into a situation in which now you have to find your way out of it maybe that's this king of swords energy here but even the queen of pentacles energy kind of feels trapped and as far as what the cards are saying here, this Five of Pentacles energy would resonate more with the Queen of Pentacles. Especially with this Ten of Wands. It feels like she's being put out in some way. Okay. Which would absolutely... You can't, uh, you can't really see it, guys. Sorry. But it would absolutely make sense as to... Because you have, you have the Five of Cups over here with the Ace of Wands, which is... So you have... And then there's the Five of Cups here with this Queen of Pentacles. So whatever this is, this, the, whatever is creating this sorrow, sadness, Five of Pentacles, rejection, feeling left out, put out, whatever, is absolutely in, in, uh, inspiring somebody to change direction, change course, adjust your course or something like that. Okay. All right, so... 
fine, that's good. Next, I just want to talk about this. Nine of Cups, Two of Swords. There's satisfaction. There's a there's some sort of energy of resolution here that may end up being good for both parties or all parties. But right now, there's it's like it's almost like there's a stalemate because you have this Two of Swords, or maybe you're looking for some sort of satisfaction, but you don't know how to go about it because there's a stalemate. But it, but ultimately, new beginning, Page of Pentacles. Okay, Page of Pentacles twice. New beginning, justice served the magician, manifesting some sort of justice here. All right. Um. Mm. Ooh, or okay, okay. Um, this could be the energy of the King of Swords here. Satisfa uh, the Nine of Cups could yes represent satisfaction, but it could also represent greed, gluttony, overindulgence. Um, that could have been the situation that someone walked themselves into with this Eight of Swords here, and now they have to, <laughs> it's like now they have to weasel their way out of it, okay? This, this gluttony, greed, whatnot, is, has put someone in some sort of position to now have to be silent, indecisive, or maybe it could be that one's own s desire to please oneself is influencing someone to not make a decision which in this case only feels like it would be dragging on their sense of satisfaction here with the nine of cups but even still that feels kind of gross um, and then you have the page of pentacles justice and the magician maybe there's an offer um, maybe there's a new start or something but there's going to be some sort of there could be some sort of justice here in terms of some sort of manipulative energy the magician but let's get some clarification and, and see what spirit wants what else spirit wants to say about this please spirit yeah there it is it's the king of swords this is definitely the king of swords energy but you see now the king of swords has come out in reverse ah hmm temperance all right Ooh, overall, though, underneath the deck is the Queen of Swords. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay, King of Swords is in reverse. Temperance. Te yep. Ten of Wands, Page of Wands. Mm -mm -mm. I'm sorry, Page of Cups. Page of Cups is the energy of a reconciliation. Oh, I'm sorry. Apology. This person, or these, th whoever is represented here, has walked themselves into a situation in which now they're burdened. Ten of Wands. And this person, or these individuals, whoever is represented by the King of Swords here, is the cause of the Ten of Wands that the Queen of Wands, is, oh, I'm sorry, the Queen of Pentacles is holding here. And then you have this Queen of Swords energy. Um, you have two Libra energies here. You have Justice, which came out originally. That's Libra. You also have the Queen of Swords. Officially, this is Libra because this is the cardinal of the air signs. It could be Aquarius or Gemini. But then you also have Aquarian energy here or the fixed air sign with the King of Swords. All right. Um, but what this what I'm saying with the I'm not you could be dealing with either of these signs, any of these signs, really. Um, but. <laughs> The reason why I'm picking up heavily on the Libra energy is because this Queen of Swords feels like serious justice, like completely cutting through all the shit and not even really discussing it. It's almost as if the King of Swords energy, the diplomacy, the objectivity and all that stuff, the fairness, it seems like that's gone out the window. King of Swords in reverse. So now the Queen of Swords energy is kind of having to come through and be like, cutthroat about it and be like, no, this is not going to happen. And it's almost as if in time with temperance here, as the universe kind of like, because if you, if you know, if you remember, you have the King of Swords here, but with the High Priestess and the Tower, right? So 
with time, I feel like this King of Swords energy is going to recognize the burden that they may have caused, that they may have created, they may recognize the error of their ways, and there could be some sort of reconciliation involved, the Page of Cups. And that's kind of what I was getting with the Page of Pentacles, some sort of offer, some sort of new start, some sort of like, okay, well, well uh, I mean, let's just kind of put this behind us and start all over. Which to me is kind of like, mm, I mean, whatever, whatever, that's just shady. Well, well, let's just forget all this happened. Sure, let's do that. <laughs> you know? <sighs> okay, finally. So then this would be, this is definitely the Queen of Pentacles energy over here, right? You have the Ace of Wands with the Five of Cups, Six of Swords, Page of Wands, and the Chariot. So let's see, let's get some clarity here, please, Spirit. And if you remember, I was saying that someone's going to be able to move forward from this situation with their head held high. Yep. And I was seeing that in the chariot. So now we have judgment. That's enough. Judgment with the Knight of Swords. Yes. Ah, look at that. And underneath the deck is the chariot. I was just talking about that. The, the Knight of Swords here is definitely a, um, a, a guard dog or a bodyguard energy. Okay, there is definitely a sense of defensiveness here. And it definitely does feel like someone is kind of like riding into battle. What's underneath the Emperor? The Queen of Cups. Um, that Queen of Cups wanted to come out. You could be dealing with a Cancerian. I'm not sure why that Queen of Cups wanted to show itself. Oh, well, yes, you could be dealing with a Cancerian because you have the Chariot here twice. You could have Cancerian energy. You could be coming from a place of love and compassion, understanding, empathy, or even psychic awareness, you know, being psychically aware. And that's kind of the energy that I was picking up with the Queen of Pentacles here. So like I was saying, there is an emperor energy for both sides, but one side feels real greedy and extremely controlling, maybe even narcissistic, whereas the other side is just trying to stand up for themselves. And that's what I'm getting here. Knight of Swords and Judgment. You might be going to battle, but it doesn't. this doesn't feel like you're looking to pick a fight. It feels like you're defending yourself in terms of an argument, a misunderstanding, whatever. But judgment could fall in your favor here. This person, or this side of the equation got justice. This side of the equation got judgment. And it feels like judgment is really going to fall in this, the, the side of the equation over here. In which, in which terms, someone's going to be able, like I said, someone's going to be able to walk, move forward confidently with their head held high. Chariot came out twice for this side, okay? Wow. Shit, y'all. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> so I wanna get, I'm gonna get two Oracle messages for this reading, for this weekend. Um, I'm gonna start, because I, I feel like there are a positive or beneficial message from both the Crystal Mandala and the Lightworker. We're gonna start with the Lightworker deck. And then we'll do Crystal Mandala afterwards. So, from the Lightworker Oracle. Closing messages here. Closing message, please, Spirit, from the Lightworker Oracle in terms of this reading. Best message, please. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay. Card number 22, <laughs> Initiation by Fire. Ouch. <laughs> okay. 
Initiation by fire is a life-changing spiritual cleansing. Your life will never be the same again. Allow the power of divine fire to clear and purify you inside and out. This is not a time to hold on to anything, no matter how much you once believed you needed it. In letting go, you will gain so much more than you ever imagined, opening to fresh blessings and new life. You are like the phoenix, ready to emerge from the holy flames, reborn. Yeah, that's fitting. That really is fitting. Okay, and final closing message from the Crystal Mandala Oracle. Yeah, this really might be a pretty rough situation for whoever the Queen of Pentacles is. Okay. But, hey, you can get through this. All right, closing message from the Crystal Mandala. All right. Here we go, guys. Best message, please, Spirit. Just to close out from the Crystal Mandala, please. There it is. Okay. What do we have here? Okay. Card number nine, Archon Barbello and Picture Jasper, support. Nine is also a, a number of endings. And then you come to the 10 in which things are then completed, right? So this already kind of feels like a nine of wands energy. You, someone going through the fires of initiation and needing to persevere and just, and having the support of the universe the angels, God, Gaia, Source, whatever, on your side. Okay. Support. We bring you the gift of support. Our support is available to you on all levels. We offer spiritual support of inspired ideas, unconditional love, and divine energy. We offer so physiological I'm sorry, we offer psychological support as we assist you in upgrading your belief systems to ones that en enhance your ability to fulfill your divine destiny. We offer emotional support through spiritual friendship, unconditional acceptance, and unlimited compassion. We offer physical support by providing for your material needs for nourishment, shelter, security, and safety. We are able to support you with peace and with prosperity in subtle and very practical ways. Notice how much easier it is to live your life with courage when you know that no matter what, you shall be provided for and what you need is only ever a prayer away. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. And also, I hope, well, I'm praying that you guys, whoever this resonates for, like, you'll get through it. Don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. You have a lot to live for is what I'm hearing. So don't allow this to get you down. The chariot twice. Don't allow this to get you down. You have a lot to live for, all right? With that said, I hope you have a great weekend. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee on Monday morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.